how to become a data scientist. You know, this, this is a very fast evolving space. There are multiple aspects. New things come, old things go, technologies come and go. But the overarching thing that you have to understand is to make sense of things, to get an idea. And no one, no one can know all the things. Different people know different things and people work together and understand. You can be a visualization expert, you can be an ETL expert, you can be a machine learning, deep learning, reinforcement learning expert, or you may just know how to code. As long as you are keen to understand, trying to figure out, things would happen. So certain basic things are there, like if you want to go the coding way and if you don't have much of an experience, then R is a very good language to pick up. There is a very good language called Python as well. There are certain analysis that can be done in SQL as well or in Excel as well. Arranging the data, pivoting them, taking month-wise data like this and you know, just holding their ear and turning them around, turning them like this, slicing, dicing, putting graphs. Do they, does it require a line graph? The, the import of United States of America based on the continents. That would not require a line graph, that would require a pie chart. Simple visualization ideas and then how to do it in matplotlib in Python or ggplot in R or, or in any other or in Tableau, you know. So these things are there. Then the most important thing is understanding the business. What business wants, what kind of questions they are asking, what insights that they are looking for, how to model them. Suppose you're running a hospital. So how to understand the distribution of arrival of people. It can be Poisson distribution. And then figuring out how much time it takes for a person's x-ray to happen. That can be uniform distribution. How much time does a doctor spend with a person? That can be exponential distribution. Basic small statistics concept, which if taught properly, can be very easily understood. So there is programming, there is statistics, there is business modeling, and of course, the whole data engineering aspect of storing the data in what format to store it so that the retrieval is easy, whether I should use Hadoop or Spark, what is MapReduce? So these are the different things that a data scientist can know. And keep in mind, one does not have to know everything. You don't have to think, oh my God, so much to study. How would I do it? You know, I'll have to learn everything. That would take me ages. No, it doesn't happen like that. Six months is good enough to know a lot of things. And you can start you know, by a programming language immediately or by learning statistics immediately. No one in this industry knows everything. They work with each other. They have a little idea of what the others are doing. They can, with time, pick up what others are doing, bits and pieces of it. But then, you know, no one has to do everything. So you don't have to worry about it. And if there's even a small bit of worry how to understand thing, then we are over here to help you learn it. You choose which one you want. You want to start with Python. You want to start with statistics. Or you want us to help you decide where to start, how to package it, we are there for you.